5. Now, your Max 5 Interactive Forecast with Chief Meteorologist Garrett Lewis, voted Best Weathercast by the Associated Press. A beautiful day today, a lot of sunshine, certainly feeling like spring with the sunshine, the warmth, and of course the wind. Taking a look at some of your eye picks from the south, the trees starting to bloom and blossom with clear blue skies, even over in Clarksville today. Just a few high level clouds moving through, but otherwise a beautiful day. One of the things that we saw today was warmer than normal temperatures because of the south winds. Normally in Fayetteville, it's only about 59. Today, 69, 10 degrees above what we'd expect to find for the date. And in Fort Smith, just 64 is our normal. We made it to 78 degrees today. That's 14 degrees above normal. One of the reasons for the above normal temperatures has a lot to do with the wind, but what you may find though is that the wind speeds are always seem to be a little bit higher across northwest Arkansas than across parts of the River Valley. They're usually calm or quite a bit lighter, and a lot of that has to do with elevation. You see, when these south winds come in over the Washita's, the airflow is disrupted by the Washita's, and because of friction down towards the surface at well, 400 or 500 feet above sea level, the wind speeds are a little bit lower in the River Valley compared to northwest Arkansas, where we're up on the Ozark plateau at about 1400 feet above sea level. Those south winds, well, they're not interrupted as much, and so we do get stronger wind speeds. And for tomorrow, we could see some strong wind speeds at 30 or 40 miles per hour across the high terrain and wind speeds at about 20 to 30 in the lower areas. Let's turn the page and look at temperatures. We're in the low 60s now. Pretty warm for 10 o'clock at 62 in Rogers, 63 in Springdale, and 62 in Fayetteville. Farther south into the Washita's, we'll find temperatures in the mid and upper 60s. It's 69 in Fort Smith and 64 degrees in Clarksville. The warmth spreading across Texas all the way up to the Sooner State to 59 degrees in Springfield. And this warmth will continue to build from the southwest to the northeast as the high pressure floats to the east, keeping those winds out of the south. Breezy at times all day tomorrow. The high pressure will move farther to the east, but a cold front's moving into the the area. Now, the main difference with this too is a pressure gradient force. We're talking about the pressure tightening up between the high pressure and the clockwise flow and the low pressure trough just to the west. That's going to make wind speeds even stronger for tomorrow afternoon. And keep in mind, with warm temperatures, low humidity, and dead vegetation, not a good idea to do any burning tomorrow. We'll have some strong south winds all day long. Hey, the peak time for it around noon through 3 p.m. That's when we'll see the strongest wind gusts. Now, as far as the above normal temperatures go, that continues through the rest of the week as we see this large ridge building into the middle part of the jet stream here. This ridge is also going to deflect these storm systems up and around the ridge. So the only thing that moves in are very weak boundaries. One of those boundaries moves in late Friday, another one next week. But until then, it's fairly quiet with some pretty warm weather. Near 76 in Springdale. There are those south winds tomorrow up to about 40 miles per hour. 75 in Fayetteville. In Fort Smith, looking for highs near 80 degrees. It'll feel like maybe pre-summer instead of early spring. 79 in Van Buren. 80 in Greenwood. Close to 80 in Mina with a mix of sun and clouds. Not completely sunny. You'll see a few clouds out there, but an otherwise nice day. Taking a trip through the next seven days, warm and windy. That first week system arrives on Saturday with temperatures in the low 70s and overnight lows in the 50s. Looking ahead towards Tuesday, still in the 70s. Our normal's in the 60s. Fort Smith, we're way above normal again. Low 80s for the next two days. By next week, mid-70s with some subtle rain chances sometime around early next week. So it's a, still a nice weekend, but just really, really, really windy the next three or four Very days. windy, especially for tomorrow. Tomorrow, the winds are really going to be kicking in the yeah. afternoon. Once that front moves in, the winds are going to die down a little bit Saturday, but they'll be back in the area again by Sunday and Monday. Yeah. No burning if you, get, if you nah, don't have to. wouldn't do to. it at all. All right, Garrett, thanks. Mm -hmm. Ashley? Well, could Arkansas face a nuclear reactor meltdown similar?